Hello and welcome to Sacred Lotus Yoga. I'm Sarah and for today's session I'll be guiding us through an all levels practice, great for runners or anyone who spends a lot of time on their feet. This class is the perfect complement post or pre-run to warm up the body, release tension and keep the muscles and joints happy and injury free. So we're going to start today's class sitting towards the back of the mat in child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch, your knees as comfortably wide as you can, hips towards the heels, walk the hands out long on the mat and begin to rest your forehead down towards the mat, allowing the hips to be heavy. Just taking a few moments here, taking the weight off the legs. Take the next few moments to come into your body, coming into your breath, noticing any tight areas, any tension, any strain. And begin to deepen the breath, inhaling to account to four, and exhaling to account to four. Sending the breath down to the belly, fully filling your lungs full of air and releasing and letting go. Allowing the hips to sink heavier, allowing the arms to rest and relax. Staying with this breath as best you can throughout our class. And begin to lift towards the hands, bring yourself back onto the mat and walk the hands back in towards the body. We're going to tuck under the toes, sitting back onto the heels, coming into our first pose into a deep toe stretch. So you can keep your hands resting onto the mat or walk the hands up the legs, resting onto the knees. Just take a moment to notice that all 10 toes are tucked under. It's quite a deep toe stretch. So maybe start out nice and small, taking the weight off the toes, and then walk the hands back up if you feel you can go deeper into the pose. We're gonna reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down in front of your heart center. Drop the shoulders, lengthen through the spine, this is a little bit too intense in your toes. You can always bring the hands back down onto the mat and take the weight off the toes. Or stay as you were with your hands in front of the heart center. Gently close the eyes or bring a soft gaze. Allow the spine to be nice and long. Focus on your breath. This pose can be super intense, especially after a long run. It can be really nice to stretch out the toes and give them a little bit of love. And taking your last breath here. And we'll gently come out of the pose, bring your hands out in front of you. Coming into tabletop, you can walk the feet back a little bit further. I'm going to begin by extending the right leg towards the back of the mat. Make sure you have enough space out in front of you. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Tuck the toes under the right foot. And begin to press into the hands as if you're trying to press the ground away from you. Bring all that weight into the right heel. Finding a nice opening through the back of the right leg, through the hamstring into the calf. Feeling that deep opening. And then we're going to pick up our right leg, step it over to the left side of the mat as you begin to twist and lock towards that foot. So we're opening deeply through the right side of the body. Right down from the toes, up into the shoulder, into the neck. Getting a deep opening through the hip, the lower back. 
And you twist and look a little bit deeper. Pressing firmly into the heel, not losing that connection to the body. And we'll gently release, bring the right, la right leg back to center. We're going to draw the right knee in towards the belly and step the right foot in between both hands on the mat. From here, untuck the toes, you can keep them tucked, depending on the knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, draw the hands down in front of your heart center. You can keep the back toes tucked or untucked, depending on how your knee is today. Allow the shoulders to be soft. And notice the legs. You want to be drawing the legs towards each other. Once you do that, you'll feel the quad begin to stretch, release and open. So drawing the legs together. So we're not resting down into this. We're keeping ourselves sitting up nice and tall. So we lift and lengthen out through the spine. And then we sink into our hips a little bit deeper. Allow the hips to drop heavy. Rest the hands down to frame the front foot. Just notice the front knee hasn't come too far forward over the ankle or is falling too far back. You roughly want to be in line over the ankle. Just protecting our joints. Lengthen through the spine, look forward. You can close off the eyes here once again. As we go deeper into our quad. Noticing if it's a little bit tight, a little bit stiff. See if you can release any weight, any tension. Plant the left hand to the inside of the right foot. Sweep the right arm up and overhead, drawing it towards the back of the room. Pick up the back foot and see if you can take hold. If you can't, you can always just keep the hand pointing towards the back of the room as you pick the toes up off the ground. Twist and look over the right shoulder. So we're not just getting a deep stretch, a deep opening into our hips, but we're working into our chest. We're opening up, creating more space for the breath to flow. A lot of the time when we're running, we need really, really good posture. So you want to stay upright, shoulders back, chest open, core engaged. See if you can look over the right shoulder. Maybe you can draw that foot closer towards the glutes. And wherever you are, softly release. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Heel toe the right foot over towards the corner of the mat. And we're going to untuck the toes if they are tucked. Stay here, or if you think you can go deeper, maybe coming down onto the forearms down into our lizard pose. See if you can drop the hips lower, really, really deep for the hips, the quads. Lengthen out through the spine. Last breath. Begin to walk the hands back up, going back into our lizard. You want to heel toe the right foot over to the left side of the mat, coming down into pigeon pose. And we drop the right knee down. Bring the hands out in front of the legs. So you want to be able to press into the fingers to lift and lengthen out through the spine, creating more space through the whole body. Try and square off the hips so we're not falling too far to the right or too far to the left, but we're in between. If you're not feeling too much here, you can always begin to lower the body down towards the mat until you feel this deep into the right IT band. If you're up quite high and you already feel it, stay here. We're not trying to collapse here and fold in on the body. We want to keep the chest nice and open. Keeping the body engaged, awake and switched on. Keep your awareness on your breath. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. Last breath here. Plant both hands, tuck the toes under. 
We're going to step the right foot to meet the left, keeping both toes tucked under, and come back to our toe stretch once again. Walk the hands back and towards you. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, drawing down in front of heart center. Notice how the right side of the body feels from the left. Notice any changes. Notice if you feel more open, more released. And now we'll make our way to the next side. Bring your hands back down onto the mat, into tabletop. And we'll extend this time the left leg towards the back of the mat. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. Toes tucked under and press the mat away from you. Finding that opening through the hamstring. Pressing firmly. The opening through the back of the leg. Pressing into the heel. Last breath. And then pick up the left leg, drop it over to the right. Begin to twist and look towards that left foot. Getting that opening this time onto the left side of the body. Notice how this side feels from the last. Pressing firmly into the heel, getting a deeper opening. Last breath here. And we'll step the foot back to center. Begin to draw it into the belly and step it in between both hands into our lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Tuck or untuck the back foot once again. Lengthen through the spine. Drop the shoulder blades. And draw the legs in towards each other. Squaring the hips to the front of the room. So we're not beginning to twist to the right. But we're staying with the hips firmly squared and rooted in front. Feeling that opening into the quad. And then we'll take our deeper lunge, drop the hips down, drop the hands, walk the back foot a little bit further away, lengthen through the spine and drop the hips heavy. Notice the front knee is in line over the ankle. And create more space. We're going to plant the right hand to the inside of the left foot. We're going to sweep the left arm up and overhead. Fingertips point towards the back of the room. Picking up the back leg, maybe taking hold of the foot. As you twist and open through the chest. Creating that space through the upper body. Drop the hips a little bit heavier. Draw the foot closer towards the glute if you can. And bring the gaze over the left shoulder. Stay with your breath. Inhale fully to the belly. And exhale fully. Remembering to keep the hips sinking towards the mat. It's quite an intense deep pose. Just listen to your body and go to where you feel. That's where you need to be today. No need to take it any deeper, any further. This is all about building a nice body, a nice gentle body for running. So I want to find more space, not go too deep and do any injury. And softly release, bring the left hand back around, landing it to the outside of the left foot. We'll heel toe that foot. Now over to the right side of the mat. And drop the knee down. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest, creating more space through the spine. And only fold down if you feel you have the space in the body. Only go to where you begin to feel it to the IT band. The hips are nice and level. Locking forward, opening through the chest. Shoulders are down away from the ears. 
And see if you can find softness anywhere in the body. Can you soften the muscles of your face? Can you relax the hips? And sink deeper. Last breath. Plant both hands down, tuck the toes under, and step the left leg back to meet the right. This time we're going to bring the feet together, bring the knees together, sit back onto the heels, toes are unducked. Walk the hands out behind you. Now this might feel deep enough as we come into our ankle stretch. If it is, stay here. You could always put your hands up onto something, maybe a couple of blocks to bring the height back into the body a little bit. Or you can begin to lift the knees away from the mat. Drawing the knees up, drop the shoulder blades back, just to where you feel a nice stretch into the ankles, the tops of the feet, into the toes. This is a lovely pose to do post run. Just bring some movement back into the ankles, giving them a little bit of love, a little bit of care. Maybe close off the eyes. Last breath. Lovely, we'll walk the hands back out in front of us. We're gonna make our way into Sphinx. So walk the hands out in front of you. Walk the legs back, coming down onto the forearms. Elbows in line under the shoulders. Palms facing down onto the mat, or you can bring the hands into prayer. Just where you feel you have enough stability. Lift and lengthen out through the spine. Tailbone slightly tucks under. Chest is open. Gaze is in front of you. You can keep the feet as they are. Or maybe walk them a little bit wider away from each other. That'll just take some of the weight off the lower back. And open through the chest. So allow the legs to be heavy. Allow the feet to relax. And we're opening our chest. Building strength and space into the shoulders. Creating that strong upright posture to help with our stride. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. Strengthening the lower back muscles. Lengthening the muscles in your belly. And exhale, we'll come out of the pose. We'll plant both hands, tuck the toes under. We're gonna send our hips back towards our heels once again into our toe stretch. Quite deep on the toes, I know. It's the last one that we're doing. Maybe sweep the arms up and overhead if you can. Hands down, true heart center. And we'll hold here for three breaths. Lovely, we've released the hands down. We're going to swing the legs out in front of us. So our legs are just pointing out in front on the mat. Toes peeling back towards you. Keeping the legs hip width distance apart. Sweep the arms up and overhead. Hands down through heart center. Lifting through the chest. Lengthen out through the spine. And we'll take hold of the right leg. We're going to draw it in towards us. We're going to step the right leg over the left. Bending at the knee, begin to drop the right knee down onto the left. Watch the knees here. Make sure there's no sharp pains. No tension. Lift and lengthen through the spine, hinging from the lower back, from the hips. Peel the left toes back towards your face. Flex the foot. Begin to hinge forward only to where you feel this nice stretch, this nice opening through the hamstring, through the calf, right up into the left hip. 
you don't need to go too far in this pose. Maybe you're still back here with the hands behind you. Maybe there's a bit of a bend in the knee. All perfectly fine. We're working on opening and lengthening to the hamstring, which can be really, really, really tight. Maybe you can take a bit of a fold, press the palms down. Just go to where you feel this pose deep without tension, without pain. You can close the eyes once again. And we'll release and come back out. Uncross the leg, extend both legs long. You can just shake through the legs. Release any tension, any stiffness. And then we'll make our way to the next side, taking hold of the left knee this time. We're going to step the left foot over the right and drop the left knee down. Lift and lengthen to the spine, lifting up out of the lower back. Hinge from the hips, plant the hands to wherever they can go to. And gently lengthen over the leg. Try see if you can soften that left knee a little bit more. Notice how this side feels from the last. No two sides of our body are the same. So you'll always notice that one side will feel a lot tighter, maybe a little bit tighter than the other. Just notice which one that is for you. Try and relax that leg. Can you go deeper? Can you sink a little bit further down? Can you soften anywhere a little bit more? Last few breaths here. Lovely, we'll gently come back out, plant the hands, lift and lengthen back up and cross the legs. You can bend into the feet, bend into the knees and drop the knees one side, the next. Releasing tension in the hips, any stress, any strain, shaking it all out. Should feel really good now in the hips and in the legs and the lower back. And you might even feel really nice and open through the chest. From here, we'll make our way down onto our backs. Draw your knees into the belly. Sinking down, rocking side to side. From here, we'll make our way into happy baby. So allow the knees to drop out wide. And from here, we'll take hold of the outer edges of the feet. Now, this might feel a little bit too tight on the hips if they're really, really, really tight today. And if they are, you can take hold of the backs of the knees and you can just allow the legs to hang out towards the sides of the body. If you're okay, take hold of the outer edges of the feet, bend into the knees and draw the knees down towards your armpits. As you flex the feet, soles of the feet pointing towards the sky, Ankles in line over the knees. Shoulders are resting down towards the mat. Spine is long. Tailbone pressing into your mat. Connect with your breath. Maybe rock side to side. Massaging out the spine. Try and relax any part of the body that you can. Bring softness anywhere that you feel a little bit of tightness.
And we'll bring the soles of the feet together. I'm just going to drop the feet down into Baddha Konasana. And the soles of the feet together, knees dropping wide. And we're going to begin to bring the arms up and overhead. Maybe you can take hold of the opposite elbow. And just allowing a full body opening here. Allowing the knees to be heavy. Hips open. Chest opens. Relax through the body. Soar from where you can. Release the hands down. Bring them down and line under the body. Bring the knees back and together. Draw them back in towards your belly. And we're going to cross the right leg over the left. Draw the knees towards you, take hold of the outer edges of the feet and draw the feet wide. Drawing the feet away from you, knees hanging heavy, really deep stretch for the IT band. Flex the feet, soften the face. Softly release and cross the legs, hug the knees into the belly, take a breath and then crossing over the opposite way, left knee over the right, hug the knees in towards you, take hold of the outer edges of the feet, draw the feet away from you. Notice what you notice here. Notice where else in the body you can soften. Noticing the glutes. Noticing the muscles in the belly. Allowing the lower back to release and let go. And we'll gently release the grip of our feet. And we'll gently unwind the legs, hug the knees back in towards the belly. Wrap your arms around the knees, taking hold of the opposite elbow. And really begin to draw the knees in towards the chest. Allow the feet to be heavy and soft and gently begin to lock through the arms, through the legs, a little triangle space in between. Lengthen your neck, gently tuck your chin under. As if you're trying to flatten your whole spine onto the mat. From here, gently release the neck and we'll release the legs down. You can make your way in Shavasana from here, lying flat on the mat, or you can bring the hands under the legs and rocking up to seated and making your way into a comfortable cross legged seat. Allowing the hands to either rest onto the knees or alongside the body, allowing the shoulder blades to fall soft down the back. Close the eyes or bring a soft gaze. And just become fully aware of how you feel now. And you should feel nice and open, nice and released. After releasing any tension, any stress, preparing yourself for the rest of your day, 
Or maybe you run. Soften anywhere else that you can in the body. And focus on your breath once again. Inhaling to a count of four. And exhaling to a count of four. Do you notice any more ease to the breath? And this is where I'll leave you for today. Thank you very much for joining me for our practice. I look forward to seeing you on the mat again very soon. Namaste.